I believe in for you to master something, you have to teach it to someone else. So uh, that's why I do this. But the more idealistic one is I believe that I have an obligation to give back to the community. Because people helped me grow, that inspired me to help other people grow. Get a very good satisfaction when I see my students. So when I saw someone, when they just joined at God Academy, and then I saw them like three months later, and they have improved by a lot, and that also things that makes me happy in this program. So when I was first approached to build curriculum for this program, I consulted the people from the Gojek. I found uh, something very interesting that Gojek works at really, really high scale. Therefore, uh, for engineers to succeed in Gojek, they require strong fundamentals, they require good collaboration with others, and then they require a mindset to solve a problem. The, the most of the training was about how they can be independent, whatever the problems they have, what are the sources that you can go to. If it is a technical problem, everything is there on Google. If it's a the people problem, that okay, of course you want help from your peers, you want help from your seniors. So, an engineers in Gojek, there is no Ruby engineer, there is no Java engineer, there is no Clojure engineer. Engineer in, in Gojek is just engineer. What it entails is that an engineer in Gojek should try to solve a problem with the best language available, with the best tool possible. My teaching style would be very conversational. I like people to you know, cross-question, mm. for the class to feel a little livelier, for people to participate. Um, I like doing a lot of exercises, so people getting down, getting their hands dirty. And other than that, we also every, want everyone to code in the classroom. So it's not something where you just sit and watch the lectures all day long. You, everyone will code and we will criticize, we will take a look at, at your, every single one of you, your codes. And I think it's one of the privilege for the bootcamp participants. They're able to try to tackle a real problem here at Gojek with the real data. I feel more energized because of the participants are also curious and they ask many questions, they ask many things that I didn't think of and after the class they also like to ask me more things about the projects that we've been doing at Gojek here. We asked people to kind of do a bug bash. We got all the product designers there and we asked them to pick a product and go through it. And what amazed me was uh, the amount of issues that those participants found and how quickly they got through the decisions that we, you know, challenging all the decisions that we've taken in the last six months. So when I see these students, I think they are way smarter than uh, when I was their age. It makes me hopeful, it makes me optimistic about what the future holds.